Hey guys, how's it going? Paul Harris here. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm talking about Excel macros and specifically recording in two macros that I use all the time that helps speed up my workflow. If you're new to macros, this will be useful because you can see how you can record them. A macro is basically a set of processes and rules that you can assign to a shortcut to speed up how you use Excel. It's very nifty to know and hopefully this video will be useful for you. So so that being said, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so we're in Excel and you can see here that we have a table and it has some data in it, but it isn't formatted. And there's a certain way that you might find that you format uh, your tables every single month, for instance, if you're an accountant like me, and you want to display information in a certain way. Now, you're doing Excel work maybe every day. It can be very useful to have a shortcut that just helps you format a table in a very quick and efficient way. So, so one of the ways that I like my tables to appear is the numbers. I like there to be a comma in between you know, the digits, and I also like there to be a bracket around negative numbers for the negative number to be red and for zeros to show as dashes like it already does here. But sometimes it doesn't show as a dash or shows a zero like this. And um, I know you can press this comma button that does a half the work for you, but then you'll get these decimal places and you have to sort of click here. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but sometimes it's just so much nicer to just have a shortcut that format it exactly the way you want it to show. So the way you do that is to record a macro, you first have to get this developer button to appear in your Excel. And the way you get that to appear is you click on Excel Preferences, Ribbon and, te uh, and Toolbar, go down, click on the Developer option, and press Save, and then come out, and it will show as Developer. Then what you want to do is press the Developer button, and then select the option that says Use Relative References. What this will do is when you record a macro, the next time you use it, use a shortcut on a different cell, if you've clicked that option, it will apply the macro to the cell you've selected, as opposed to selecting, as opposed to running the macro based on where you initially recorded it, so within cell D4, for instance. So with that being selected, you can then click on the button Record Macro. And I'm going to select, I'm going to title it Format, uh, Format Number. Okay, and you have to put an underscore between the two words. Then you do this workbook, and you can do Option Command, and I'm going to choose R. Now the way that the Mac uh, macro. The way that the Mac macros work is that it says Option Command R, but really it's going to save it to Control R. Now with a PC, it, it's a lot more intuitive because you press Control Shift. I do usually, and then select a button such as R or T or G or some sort of combination that hasn't already been used for a different shortcut within Excel already. Now when you press OK. It's going, to, it's going to start recording. Now, nothing happens until you start selecting keys, but you can see here it says stop recording, which is what you press once you've recorded the macro. So I want to format this number in a specific way. So I bring up the number formatting box by pressing Control-1, and it brings this up, and you can press Custom, and now I select the option that I would like my numbers to always show as. So I like it to show as just a plain number first with a comma in between, so hashtag, comma, hashtag, hashtag, Tag. Then the next negative numbers after the semicolon is going to be red and then with a bracket around it. And then the next set of numbers, which is zeros, how you want the zeros to show, you can do as a dash or a zero or however you like zero showing. Then when I press OK, you can see it formats cell D4 the way I would like it to. Uh, but um, so I've recorded that macro now. So now I press stop recording. Now when I assign now when I select all the other numbers, so now when I go back and I press Control R, you can see it now displays all the numbers the way I would like it to be displayed. Unfortunately, I just realized another thing that I like the numbers to show as is to be centered. Now, unfortunately, I didn't choose this option, so you could either go back and record the macro again, or you can click on this Macros button, Format Number, Edit, and I know the the key that you have to type in. You have to click selection dot horizontal alignment equals XL center. Oh, that's not an equals. That's a minus. 
Now you press play to see if it works. Okay, fine. And now you can see when I press, uh, well, it did it for me, but when I go, say I just selected, went off this and went back to a different number like this. And now when I press, now when I press control R, it will, it will center everything and get it the way I want it to show. Now, unfortunately you won't know how to edit a macro and type it in without actually trying and recording different macros. It just so happens that I knew how to do that one, so I could type it in myself instead of having to re-record it. But as you can see, now I've recorded a macro and that's gonna set the numbers the way I want it to look each time. The other macro that I set, which speeds up your workflow, is to get the headers looking the way you want it to. So the way I would do it usually is to do the numbers, then you could do the headers specifically, and then you could do the entire table if you want the entire table to look a certain way. But the way I'm gonna do the headers is to select all the header options, go back to developer, record macro, I'm gonna do this time E, so I've done R, and now I'm gonna do E, and press OK. I didn't do a title of that macro, but that's fine. And now what I'm gonna do is go to home, then start to choose the options I might want to see it as. So I'm gonna select white font, blue colored cells. I'm gonna do line color, white, line style thick, do all borders, and I'm gonna center these. And that might be how I want my table to look. So now I can go back to developer and stop recording. And effectively what that means is now if I put in another header, which it usually does automatically, if I take this off. Now if I press Control E, you can see that it has formatted that box the way I would like it to. And that's basically how you record in a macro. You basically select the cell that you would like to be formatted a certain way. You click on Record Macro after you've clicked the Use Relative References box. You then perform the action that you would like to perform several times then press stop recording, and then you can just use that shortcut on different tables and to format different things in a very quick and effective way. Hopefully that was useful and clear. I have in the comment section, whatever it's called, that drop down menu that shows you what the video, I think it's video description. I have in the video description a link where you can download a Excel workbook where I've put loads of different formulas in. If you're new to Excel, it could be quite useful for you, I imagine. So that's just there if you want to download that. Thanks for watching. I do have other Excel videos as well. Check them out. You might find them useful. Anyway, there we go. There's macros. Very quick and easy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.